hi you guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing a fun vlog about wait i need to breathe i can't walk talk and film it's very consuming today we are doing a collaboration vlog with 8fit that i'm really excited about we are going to talk about how to incorporate nutrition and healthy eating into a busy lifestyle 8fit is a mobile app that helps you customize yourself a meal plan have a workout keep a grocery list like there i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you you know that i'm really passionate about finding tools and hacks that can make my life easier so 8fit is definitely one of them hey ems hey emma is here already working so just don't mind me i'll be talking you can just do <laughs> your thing do you wow i feel so pregnant you kind of look pregnant today hi baby we are working from home which is extra special i think it's an obstacle of its own so running a business and just like you know trying to keep up with life it's really hard to eating healthy and keeping it up and making it a lifestyle so today i'm just going to give you tips and tricks that i actually do like we're going to go to the grocery store we're going to do all those things so right now i'm just gonna clean up because this is literally oh my god what happened here what it's like a war zone so I'll be with you shortly. Okay, so usually we work from home, Emma and I, unless we are out shooting something on the st streets or in the studio. Emma comes at 9 a.m. and we like start working and we're not leaving the stable until five o'clock, which is kind of sad. So working out has been a little bit of a challenge for me. I'm just finishing off my first trimester and it's been a little difficult. Um, I've been really nauseous, so I really stopped going to the gym altogether, which is really upsetting. So I haven't been working out for almost like I think over a month now and I know it doesn't sound like a lot but for someone that's like working out is literally my place of just like zen it's it's annoying and you know when you like stop working out even for a week it's like going back to it is the hardest mission ever so what I started doing is instead of forcing myself to go to the Pilates that I usually go to or work out in the gym. I decided that I'm gonna kind of ease into it, especially because I'm still a little bit of tired, but I do want to move my body. So what I started doing is just doing really light exercises and I'm gonna show you guys. Where's my phone? I hope Jake didn't take it with him to school that guy knows how to find my phone everywhere so on 8fit i decided to start from like the base level which is beginners and to start really easing back into just moving my body and feel better i try to do it every day but uh, right now i managed to kind of squeeze in about two to three times a week which is great i'm really happy about it so let's get moving needed i have to say though i am so out of shape it's so sad i couldn't even hold the downward dog for that long but i love the fact that i started from the beginning beginning and i'm just gonna progress with time when i'll see that i'm ready and my body you know is back to moving it's also pretty cool because i mean there's not only yoga in here you can do tabitha you can do different workouts that you know whatever your goal is i truly love workouts that make you feel mindful and in general like i just need a little bit of silence and stillness in my life so i feel like that part of this uh, video that i was following she was her voice was so soft and it was so calming and it was really all about kind of connecting to yourself and being proud of yourself and your body that was really nice it was a very kind of meditative workout for me so yay valeria okay let's go see what emma's doing it's time to go back to work I love this art wall, it's my favorite part of the house. 
Oh, Emma, I'm new and improved. Are you ready for me? Wow. How was it? It was so good. <laughs> Maybe we'll start like a morning ritual when you come. We're going to do a 15 minute yoga session. That would be really good. So good. It's good for the company culture, you know what I mean? Okay, so now I'm gonna make a post-workout smoothie. I'm actually grabbing this smoothie recipe from my meal plan. So I customized myself a meal plan just to make sure that, you know, I have an idea of what I'll be eating. I think during pregnancy, like the first few weeks were really bad. I just grabbed whatever was in my way and usually fried stuff were in my way all the time. I don't know why so it really affected my skin it affected my energy levels so I really wanted kind of to put myself on some type of program that will give me direction on what I should eat and that's why on 8 fit uh, my goal for my meal plan was to really focus on just healthy foods it's not weight loss again it's not weight gain it's just to maintain a healthy food option so they customize a meal plan for me and I have every day I have breakfast lunch snack and dinner and you can choose how many meals you want during the day and they can give you options and you can change your options as well which is really cool so I have my almond mocha protein smoothie which I'm gonna be making now there's a lot of protein here good source of fats and carbs so yeah I'm gonna make myself and Emma this smoothie and you can choose how many servings you want so it actually tells you how much you should put in your blender or whatever and it gives you the ingredients this is also how I shop but I'm gonna tell you about that soon okay let's do the smoothie hey we are done with the smoothie I put a little bit of coffee in it, instant coffee, because I really need it today. It's a little gray and yucky outside. During pregnancy, I know they recommend to avoid caffeine, but I feel like just a little bit of coffee during the day is fine. I don't drink it every day. Oh my God, it's so... Wema! Once for you. Thank you. Although you didn't do the yoga session, so... It's like a little I today. mean... <laughs> Yummy. Do we cheers? We always cheers, <laughs> Emma. Always. Life is a celebration. <laughs> we had our smoothies. That was actually delicious. Did Emma finish? She finished hers. I wanted to steal some. I think that with nutrition, sometimes we find it to be so confusing and so hard to keep up, especially when you have a busy lifestyle and you have work and family and kids and just like so much going on. What I love to do and I find that is extremely helpful is basically every week have kind of a rotation of three to five meals where I just keep repeating them. The thing is when we start getting too creative with food, it's starting to get really hard. And especially if you're very crunched on time, so even here they have like the meal plan for the week you'll see recipes repeating themselves not every single day but like every other day or so so it actually very helpful because once you get into that rhythm and you know what you're gonna eat and it's like a whole good meal it gets much easier to make it work another important thing that I like to do is to plan my shopping so first of all I always make sure that I never go shopping on an empty stomach so that's yay i'm probably gonna have um another snack after this just to make sure that i'm not fantasizing about a bag of chips while shopping so what i like to do is to really plan my week with eight fit i have my meals so i'm just gonna sort through them to see if there's anything i like or want to change and then i'll go into my shopping cart and make sure that i have all the ingredients and will mark what i have already in the house and what i still need to buy so that makes the whole shopping experience much easier and it really uh, prepares me for the week for the meals to make sure that I have all the ingredients so once I get through I'll see what I need to buy and whatnot and then we're gonna go shopping and Emma's coming with me oh. thank god I finished that smoothie you're gonna come with me shopping experience a day in the life of a mom <laughs> what what's the date 
April 4th? No, no 6th. Ja April 6th. January 6th. <laughs> Disgusting. I look like a marshmallow. We are, <laughs> we are going to uh, do our grocery shopping. I'm taking Emma with me. Emma, have you ever grocery shopped? Never. For real? No, obviously I'm going grocery shopping. I don't know. You're like 19. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I wish. <laughs> I'm really excited that I'm finally I feel good enough to like get back into just eating healthy and consciously and not just stuff that are not benefiting my body but also I don't want to gain 800 pounds during this pregnancy so it's time to it's time to make it work Emma <laughs> after you my lady I hope they're not gonna kick us out because I want to film that'd be real tragic that would be tragic just tell them we like to make memories together. <laughs> Let us be. Let us be. Okay. Let the shopping no, we don't push you around. begin. <gasps> no, I won't fit. People are looking weird at me already. Okay. Right now, start the front. go shopping I'll go in the perimeters of the store because that's usually where the fresh produce is at and the like meats and uh, fish and all that stuff and then only the things that I need I'll go into the aisles because usually the most processed foods are in the aisles like this cornflakes crumbs that are probably really yummy but no good for us I know that there's so many things like online that tell you to look at the ingredient list there's all these names that you're supposed to like remember or recognize I don't remember a lot of them. I just try to find something that has the least amount of ingredients in it. So when I uh, buy things, if I need breadcrumbs or anything like that, I always look for more whole food nutrition uh, products. An example of if I want to get breadcrumbs, I usually clean up at aisle five. That's the aisle. Oh, great. I usually opt for something like this. So this is actually spelled breadcrumbs and this is with organic sprouted spelt so it will be much better for us rather than taking the cornflake crumbs score this is on sale it's on sale this is actually pretty good this is diced avocado and it's frozen one avocado costs like three or four dollars so this is great for smoothies for six bucks I mean um, there's more than one avocado inside here so this is already great purchase wild blueberries organic yes i actually try to buy frozen things to the, for the house because it's easier for me not to think about expiry and all um, and also it's great for smoothies so when i do find like wild blueberries or anything like that i definitely make sure to stock up on those with fish i never buy farmed i try to avoid farmed as much as possible to, so it has to be either wild or organic which they don't have here. They have this tuna. We don't want tuna. I am obsessed with olives. This pregnancy has been a real treat so far. No, what? one with garlic. You have to. <gasps> this will do. Are you almost done your list? We forgot the parsley. We did it, we did it. So um, I couldn't talk a lot there because people were like in our way, all up in our face. But um, I really, why is there so much noise? <laughs> I know that there's a lot of talk about organics and stuff and I think that it's important to buy organics but not necessarily everything. And I think I mentioned it in a previous video before but I want to repeat it again that there's a source online that tells you the dirty dozen which are like the top 10 dirtiest vegetables and fruits Emma you're the best thank you so you guys can actually see what is the best to buy organic and then just save money on the rest that are not so important like bananas don't have to be organic there's so many others vegetables and fruits that don't have to be organic just kind of being aware of that will really help you to make decisions about where to spend your money so that's kind of what I do I really try to see what's what's the most important to buy organic oh you are welcome 
so we came back from the shopping spree and now I'm gonna make this ah bean and pea salad with egg oh, this is an amazing meal that is so high with protein it has 19 grams of protein This is the lunch. We have our egg and all the beans. This is a great size lunch. Definitely will keep me full. At first I was like, oh, just the salad for lunch, but this is actually a very generous portion. And I made some substitutions. So it's called for vinegar, but I had apple cider vinegar. I used that instead. Another thing that I love about the app is that it gives you substitutions. So there's tomatoes and then you can say you can substitute for radish. So it gives you alternatives that that you can basically do if you don't have either the item on hand or you're just like not feeling it so that's it this is our lunch and I'm really excited that was really quick to make actually so I think this will be a great also lunch for work if you like work at an office just to pack it together oh so nice is it yummy for you so yummy for me <laughs> I love that we all speak like a four-year-old at Valeria Inc. So this is it you guys. I gave you all my tips that I use all the time when it comes to nutrition that just simplifies this whole aspect of eating healthy even when you're busy. I think all of us get so overwhelmed so easily with the amount of information and studies out there. But honestly, if you just kind of put yourself on a routine of um, you know, making sure that you have four to five meals rotation every week so you don't have to think about it. You make sure that you have all the ingredients in the house. Make sure that you don't restrict yourself so much that you like feel deprived and there's no reason to live anymore. Make sure that you drink a lot of water because all of us need that reminder. And, uh, and that's it. And if you guys need help, if you guys need guidance, um, that's where 8Fit is such a great part of my routine. 8Fit has been kind enough to offer all my subscribers a free trial for their premium version. So you're going to get access to everything I've showed you today. And you guys can see if it's something that fits your lifestyle. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you 8Fit for sponsoring this video. If you guys have any other nutrition questions, any hacks or you know issues that you're dealing with, with when it comes to nutrition you guys can comment and ask me in the comments and i'll get back to you or make a video about it depends how good the subject is and that's it thank you guys so much for watching and i'm just warning you this pregnancy is giving me like weird feel so i'm gonna be a little weirder than usual in the next six months good luck to us all <laughs> love you guys do you love them too emma i do <laughs> bye guys bye